Hello everyone, welcome back. In this episode here, I have a uh, product review. Um, Black Friday came and went, and I basically got a gun. Uh, buy one, get one free from Academy. Very inexpensive gun. I think uh, it's three, three ninety nine. No, two ninety nine. Buy one, get one free. So you buy this for two ninety nine, which is the Taurus right here, as you can see right here. And then you get the Rossi. Bring it back up here. You get the Rossi uh, RS twenty two. Uh, rifle here. I'll give you a little instruction manual right there. I'll get that to get back to that a little bit later. Right now, let's open the the Taurus. Gosh, I don't even know what it's called. What what was this thing called? Uh, TH the Taurus TH series. Yeah, compact. This is the compact version. So. You get this, some manuals, you get this foam case, you get a foam and a case with it. Uh, this was the plastic bag that went in here, so, okay. I already looked at it, looked at the gun, and I'll tell you what my impressions are about this. Uh, so, I think overall, it's it seems to be a per, a fairly good gun from what I could tell. Now Taurus is not known for super du super duper quality or anything. Um, my first gun was a, a Rossi, which is owned by Taurus or either or. Rossi is the revolver, and the and the uh, Rossi is also the uh, the twenty two rifle here, the rimfire rifle. So I've already opened it, I've oiled it a little bit, I've kind of already um, kind of made it a little bit smoother. Um, right off the bat, the interesting thing about this is that it's hammer. So you see the hammer right here, and you see the decock right here, and uh, it doesn't engage the firing pin because if I do, as you can see it's not loaded and uh, no magazine. So if I pull the trigger and I release the hammer, you see the, the hammer goes all the way and hits the firing pin. But if I decock right here, you push down on it. This is also the safety where the safety is as well. See that? Uh, it doesn't go all the way. If you can see, it doesn't go all the way. The hammer doesn't go all the way. It's not even touching the pin. So there's that. Single action. Double action. So, there it is. And I'm going to tell you something interesting, my experience right off the bat. So, to take this gun apart, it's very similar to a Glock. And that's the first thing I've noticed. I, I bought this gun because it was a Black Friday deal. And I got two for one. I got the pistol, about the pistol, two ninety nine, and got the rimfire rifle, which I'll show a little bit later, uh, for free, technically, supposedly. So just like a Glock, you pull back a little, pull down, you pull down on these pins here. I put these gloves on because it's a little oily. And it just releases. It should just release, right? Very simple. Let's see if I already, I've already oiled some of this stuff. And 
just like a Glock, just comes out. Very, very simple. There, there, there. That's it. Very similar to a Glock. Now, to put it back together, you just simply go reverse. But I did something interesting, and I don't know if this is. It could be. It could be Glock related. I, I don't think so. If you look at the trigger system, okay, and this this is one of the reasons why I think that this will shoot fairly well is because of the trigger system, very similar to how the Glock is. Very similar indeed. It almost looks like a Glock, except for the back part right here. And uh, if you look underneath, yeah, you can't probably see that, but if you look underneath here, there is a coil. I wouldn't call it a spring, a coil, and that's what activates the trigger. Now, if you're like me, you took it apart, and you looked at the internals, right? You looked at the internals and everything, and you're wondering how this worked, and you notice how similar it is to a clock, and you pull the trigger, and you and you did this a couple times, you know, and you just want to see what, what, what it's all about. You'll notice that this thing right here, this little piece that goes up, down, I don't know if you, can you see that? It goes up. It goes up when you pull, pull, pull the trigger, right? So, anyways, I cocked it, and I kind of did this. I wonder if if I decocked it. What would it do? If you decock it, you notice that it stays up. This little piece right here. So this piece was up, and I was like, well, that's strange. And it doesn't really go down until you pull it again. It doesn't even go down, really. But anyways, it was, it was up, and so I was like, okay, let's put it back together. So I just was playing with the trigger, and it won't go in. And the reason being is uh, this, this little piece right here, this little piece right here is blocking the way. So now if I push this pin down, or I push this little lever down, which seems to, I'm not sure what it, what it does really. I guess it when it recoils it pushes it back down. Anyways, I just wanted to check out the trigger and everything, how it worked out. And so I had to push it back down and then it'll slide. There we go. So that's the issue I had with it. it drove me crazy. I don't think it's an issue, but just something to keep in mind if you ever do this, because if you're like me and you get a new gun, you probably want to know what the triggering system, what the internals are like, how it functions, how it works. Uh, if you look at the internals, you'll see a lot of how it works affects your trigger pull. It will affect your trigger pull, and that is going to affect your barrel movement. So. Um, Okay, I think it's going to be a pretty accurate gun. I won't know until it takes, I take it out to the range, but looking at it from the internals, I, I think it'll be accurate, should be very accurate, in my opinion, from me, in my hands, I believe, anyway. Because I have other guns, and the, the trigging, the way the trigger works, uh, really affects your movement in how you, on, when you put force on that trigger, it really moves the barrel around. So anyways, that's the the Taurus, what the hell was this called? TH Compact Series.
it's actually three and a half inch. Three and a half inch. That's why it's a compact. So, and then uh, 13 round magazine. Okay, 13 round magazine. And there's just enough room for your for your pinky right here. Your pinky to get in there. And it has the uh, release on both sides here. Although I'm having a hard time, it's easier for me to just just push from this side actually. But uh, anyways, and then here is the 17 round. If I take this off, you can actually just you can actually see 17 rounds there and there, and this comes off and it's kind of loose. It's a little weird because it it doesn't uh, it wiggles around a little bit. Anyways, but you can put your whole whole finger on it now, and yeah, I guess it works. If you're left-handed, here you go. So, it, this is probably my backup gun to my Glock. I already own a Glock. That's the one I carry with me. But, you know, it's always nice to have a different gun just in case. My backup to my other backup to my other backup. And a speed loader. So you get a little speed loader here. Useful. Anyways, so that is the uh, Taurus TH series compact. So if you ever wanted to, to know what, if you're in the market for this. Now I bought this on a Black Friday deal and uh, it was a good Black Friday deal for me because because I um, got a rifle, which I'll show you right now. So let's put this away. Now let's get to the Rossi. The Rossi Rimfire Legendary Performance, the R, it's called the RS-22. So let's see what this is all about. I've already taken it out, obviously. You get the instruction manuals, you get another lock. And what is this? This is some kind of survey or... Whatever this is. So here is the, here it is, uh, the clip, the magazine comes in here. I've already taken it out. It's a little rough. I have to admit it's a tin round. I've oiled it a little bit to, to get it going. Oh, goodness, it's still a little rough. So this is a tin round magazine, magazine single stack. And takes a uh, 22 long rifle. There you go, if you can see that. Okay, and another thing about the um, Rossi RS-22 rimfire rifle is it does, the, the bolt here will open if you simply pull and push. You'll see that right here. Pull and push and it will open and stay open. And to release it, you simply pull. Pull it out again and it'll close again. Pull it and then pop it out and then it will close. So that's another feature here. Here's the uh, sight, the front sight for it. Here's the front sight here. Here's the front sight right there, and you can see it has a little fiberglass here. Also has a fiberglass in here as well. It seems like it's a uh, some kind of blowback system. Your, your magazine release that you have to pull, you have to push, I guess, or let's put that back in here. Let's see what it's like. Yeah, you have to, you have to push, 
push and then pull for some reason. So this is the freebie. Here's your safety switch here. And this is kind of what it looks like so far. I believe it's 18 inches. This is the freebie. They're giving away free guns. My goodness. And it does open on the last bolt. It does open on the last bolt. So there you go. So there's my basically unboxing at the uh, Academy Black Friday uh, buy one get one free. All right, thanks. And uh, subscribe if you want to see me take this out to the range and uh, shoot it and give you a well, review on how it shoots. All right, bye.